Well, it looks like me and Shailene Woodley both decided to get short haircuts. Damn, <laughs> great minds think alike. When I got it cut, I asked him just to take a little bit off the top, just to tidy it up. And he goes, oh, okay, Daniel, uh, I'll take off half. I thought, okay, oh, fine, just take half off, I don't mind. Just tidy it up, you know? And then when he was cutting my hair, I was in kind of a little daydream. Wasn't really even looking in the mirror about to see where he was cutting and how much he was taking off. And at the end he goes, oh, Daniel, is that okay? It looks like I was like, what? <laughs> Where's it all gone? <laughs> but yeah, I needed tidying up, but I didn't want it this short, but it'll grow back in time. <laughs> Insurgent is the sequel to Divergent, which came out last year, which is a book to movie adaptation, just like The Hunger Games, Maze Runner, Fifty Shades of Grey, and various other book adaptations, which were transferred to movies. I watched Insurgent in 3D, 4DX, with the moving seats, the wind, the water, the motion, everything, the full package. So I got everything with this movie. It has very well shot action scenes. There are no cheap cuts. There is no shaky cam. The action scenes look and feel really good. Shailene Woodley is the star of the movie, hands down. Her acting is flawless, it is amazing, and she really puts on a show. She makes everyone else look like they don't want to be there. <laughs> Some of the other actors are very, very bad. They just don't seem to be putting much effort into their roles at all whatsoever. The best people are definitely Shailene Woodley and her boyfriend, which is known as Four in the movie. He puts on quite a good show for us as well. And Miles Teller has his moment to shine in the movie as well. If you've watched the first Divergent and you enjoyed the first Divergent, which came out last year, or you're a fan of the books and read any of them, you would damn right sure love this movie. If you didn't like the first Divergent which came out last year, I guarantee this film is not for you and you can definitely pass on this movie. But like I said, if you like the Divergent from last year, you're a fan of the books, you're probably all hyped up, so go and watch this movie, you will love it. You're in for a show. Like, there's not very much good films out in the cinema right now. There's a lot of trash which I've been showing, like Unfinished Business and I heard The Gunman's not very good, I haven't even seen that movie yet. And Fifty Shades of Grey, this movie tops all of those movies, hands down. And if there's any movie to go and watch at the theatre, this is probably one of the best movies to go and watch right now. So overall, Insurgent gets a 6 out of 10. It's an average movie, it's a good watch. You go to the movie theatre, the cinema, to watch a film and you have a good time. This movie, I had a good time. Will I watch it again? Probably not. Maybe once or twice, but I'm not going to go back to the cinema and watch it like seven or eight times repeatedly. So overall, it's a good watch. But just around the corner, we've got Fast and Furious 7, we've got Avengers Age of Ultron, and you can damn right be sure I'll be reviewing those two bad boys. So, as always, Spikes, leave a comment down below of what you think to Insurgent. Leave a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe, become a spy. And as always, Spikes, everything is awesome.